Well, it happened. It finally happened. Never thought it would. They always thought it'd be something else that'd do it. Like nukes. I never thought some one idiot would cause so much destruction via, via domino effect. But I guess stupidity can kill. What I'm referring to is the fact that the SEC is trying to kill the internet. And by next week, they most, they most likely will succeed. Ever since that retarded jackass became president, one bad thing has happened over the other. Coincidentally, a bunch of hurricanes came out. Now, a bunch of a bunch of people are come out to be total jackasses. People are starting to come out and say, "Hey, this guy touched me. This woman touched me. Or this something something something." It's been utter chaos, really. It's not been a good year. 2016 wasn't a good year. Because so many people died. Now this is just sad. Even more sad. Eh, some people that did deserve death did get it. Apparently Hugh Hefner was one of them. And Charles Manson. Eh. One guy gave us pornography, gave us the re gave us pornography, but it was a, but it was a total pervert. It's play, it's porn. What do you set? What do you expect? And the other was a cult leader. So buried in the lead here. The fact that the internet is on its final voyage, maybe. Possibly, who knows. I am still going to leave in the description battleforthenet.com, save the internet.com, and a number you can text. As arbitration. But I have little hope. Some hope. Not a lot. Because America, you've killed yourself. You have finally found a way to commit suicide. Not through nuclear warfare, not through death, w not through biological warfare, and certainly not through a robotic, a, a zombie, a robot, or a technological apocalypse, through the death of the internet. Bravo! Bravo. You've killed us all. Bravo, Trump. Bravo. You are a terrible president. And though me a lot will agree with me, others somehow will defend you to their graves. Good for them. Good for them. Good for them, honestly. If you have some support, it might as well be built in the backwater. I am desperately... Honestly, I've never felt this much fear in my life. Constant dread. Normally that dread is just unyielding disappointment. Now I just feel utter betrayal by my own government. More than I do now, really. I mean, I, I always feel like our government is a complete joke. Kind of is. I mean, half of the stuff we do is pretty bad. I mean, now, how do you think we got this, got the land? We, t the British took it from a bunch of, from a bunch of Native Americans. Thanks, Columbus, you got, you complete cunt. Look, I don't like the guy either. I just... I never understood stood it. He was a complete douche. 
It's not wrong that it was an asshole. It ain't wrong at all. I feel bad for the Native Americans. Let me say this. What the hell happened to being the treating people with actual respect? I guess when money comes into the equation or some way it can benefit you, you kind of lose your humanity, I guess. I guess humanity is something so easily people are able to part with. I guess bravo for you then. I know it was worth it. I hope the white walls that consume you in a long, in a long, empty, lonely life are, are there when death finally comes it for its cold embrace and you're burning in hell or being raped in hell. Kind of broad or kind of straight, too extremely forward, but hey, it's the truth. Can't handle it? Deal with it. Whatever. You know it's going to die anyway, so I might as well go, with a, go out with a bang. And pray for the best. That's all I can really do. Set, spread the link around so many stinging times until my thumb hurts. Honestly, I never thought it would come to this. But in any regard, I want to thank you, Internet. You have been a source of great joy and great sorrow for me. I have cried, I loved, I've laughed. I felt more relation to people than I've already had in more... More day, ways than one. Am I able to do a presence? Fine! I'm still able to laugh. <laughs> if I'm gonna go out, I'm probably gonna go out with a smile. <sighs> An honest, genuine smile. <laughs> the internet has been able to give me some joy that I haven't felt since I moved away from my hometown. What? Well, what am I going to do now? The is probably going to die. Along with it, so many businesses, possibly people. I don't know. I'm not... I don't work for the government. And possibly, quite possibly, all because of money. Corporate oh, greed can sometimes be bad. I'm, and I always think back on those famous words that somebody said. Those who do not, those who fail to learn from history are doomed to repeat it. And apparently so. And look where we are now. So I'll say it again. Those who fail to, re to learn from history are doomed to repeat it. So doomed. Leonard is doomed, probably. But congratulations, America. You fucked yourself. Thanks for everything, Internet. Thanks for the weird, weird stuff that I probably don't think would know it exists without the Internet. Thanks for the countless of people and personalities that make up the Internet. And thanks for all the laughs, the joy, the tears, the porn. The weird porn and the porn that probably should be illegal. And thanks for reminding me that most of my television probably turned us this way. So even the education of television, when you just, when you take it back to look at it, and it's like, oh, well, that explains a lot of snark and snot I've had. And that explains the weird, weird reason why some people fi find physical attraction to anthropomorphic people. And that's the most simplest way I could say you're a furry. The most best way I can give you a definition like that. Well, in any regard, farewell, Internet. Thank you for everything.